new market. Flat racing gave an official blessing to starting stalls. They were well padded and designed to give the high metal thoroughbreds comfort and confidence. The sport of kings has got along without stalls for nearly 300 years, but the old way was always a bit dicey, as this flashback to the 1965 derby illustrates. Nerves at the tapes, not to mention a few kicks, could put a horse well behind the field with the race hardly begun. In America, stalls are standard practice. Every horse has an equal chance at the off. These starts give punters no grievance. Back to Newmarket to see how they're getting on there. The experiment was watched with interest by the chief steward, the Duke of Norfolk. Temperamental creatures, racehorses. Seeing the stalls naturally made some a little jittery. Humorous said the two o'clock wouldn't get started till 4.30. Most of the runners realised by now that you can't resist change and it was rather ambitious to launch the season's experiment with so large a field. One filly certainly had a mind of her own. Another refused completely and was withdrawn from the race. Nearly ready for the push-button start as the last reluctant heroine, hooded to soothe her nerves, went into the stall. As good a start as anybody could wish. <laughs> 